Hello ladies, Dr. Kari here. And I want to have a question for you. Have you noticed that your interests are changing at all? Now, if you haven't, great. You should listen to the video anyway, because this is actually a normal part of the transition. Now, for some women, the transition is very smooth. For other women, it is bumpier. For those that it is smooth, you may not really notice that things are changing. You just might flow into the change. But for those of us that it was bumpy like myself, we really can start to see that hmm, things are changing here and wondering what's going on. So one of the areas that changes is our biological role. So during the fertility years, our biological role, our, what our, our body's chemistry is supporting us to do is to procreate and then keep that offspring alive to ensure the survival of our tribe, right? So in other words, our role is to ensure the survival of the tribe through procreation. Now, our role as a wise woman has changed. We are no longer, our job is no longer to keep those little ones alive. They can do that on their own at this point. Our job now is to impart knowledge to the younger generations to teach them how to survive using the tools that we used, right? And this requires a different skill set. So some of the things about us actually change to support us in this new skill set. One of the things that changes is our interest in our children, right? I made a video about that. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out on YouTube. But that also, what also can change is our interest in what we're doing in the world. Because sometimes the job we chose, mm, we chose it for reasons like, for survival reasons, right? We gotta take care of our kids, we've gotta provide. Maybe we chose it because, um, you know, that's what we were supposed to do, to be, you know, a good girl or what, whatever the reasons are we chose the job we chose. But now we're going like, mm, this doesn't really, isn't really what I wanna be doing. And so this is a time when those questions can start to arise. And if they do, don't freak out, don't get scared. Know that you are exactly on the journey you're supposed to be on. So the questions for you to ask are, what do I really love and what do I really want to impart to the world? And the reason I start with what do I really love? Because that's your interest set, right? So I am, my job as a holistic healthcare provider, did for 23 years, I went into my menopausal years and all of a sudden it wasn't enough. And that's where this whole inspiration to help you guys go through this transition more smoothly came from. Came out of my own bumpy transition, my own transition and a desire to really help you all thrive. So this is part of my wise woman years. Now, it may change. I may be doing something else some years down, but this is what is happening in your world. Two, it's this going within and saying, how do I serve? What do I really want to impart in this lifetime? Sometimes I want to serve by being a rock and great grandma. That's awesome. And sometimes I want to serve by reaching more people. And there's no right or wrong. But what is important is that we really understand that this is our role now. Our role is to find out who we are, what's important to us, and then teach those around us how to thrive in this life. Now, if you look around our culture, the wise woman has been missing, really, really missing. And this role of teaching us how to live in a way that, that ensures the survival of our species, boy, is it, is it gone, right? And so there's really a calling, a much bigger calling for this wise woman role to come in now. We really need it. This planet needs it. You know, I was talking with a young girl the other day and she said to me, you know, Kari, one of the things I'm struggling with 
is I don't know whether we're gonna survive as a species. So I don't know if I have it tomorrow. Wow, right? That's the legacy that we have been leaving. And I really believe that legacy needs us to change. It needs the feminine perspective to change. So how do we serve that? Each one of us starts to go within and starts to figure out what do we really value? What's important to us? What have we learned on our life journey? And then we find ways to share that with our immediate tribe, with our bigger tribe, in whatever way you feel called. I'm sending you so much love. I hope this helps you. If you like this video, please like it down below. And if you have a subject you want me to talk about, please let me know. Sending you so much love.